Today, I'm gonna show you how to color nail polish in Photoshop. Hey everyone and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode, super helpful for those of you guys who are shooting portraits and oftentimes you're gonna find your models maybe like they don't have nail polish like I'm doing right now and you wanna add that little touch or sometimes people's nail polish is kinda like chipped and doesn't really look that good. So today we're gonna show you how to add and color nail polish to a photo. Now there's a great trick here. We're gonna show you how to create a color adjustment layer and fill it with the same color. Then we're gonna use a layer mask to make it only visible where the fingernail is. Now at that stage, it's not gonna look that realistic and it's because there are no highlights on the nail color. So we're gonna show you how to use channels to take just the highlights from the nails and apply them over top of the nail color. All right guys, let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. So here's our image from today. This is from Adobe Stock. Now this is already, a, we have a French tip manicure, but you can see there is no color in these nails. So the first thing we wanna do is add some color. So we're gonna go to our adjustment layer right down here and we're gonna go to where it says solid color. Now the reason I'm doing this is because it's really easy to change the color later on. So let's just choose something, maybe like a nice bright orange or something like that, I don't know. <laughs> you don't see nails in that color too often. All right, let's pull it a little bit more towards red. There we go, and hit okay. Now you can see this layer has a layer mask built into it. So I'm gonna click on the layer mask and we're gonna hit control or command I to invert the layer mask. Okay, now it's time to paint white on the layer mask just where the fingernails are covering uh, the fingers. <laughs> Spoke that very well. So I'm gonna use my brush tool and just start painting white right over here. Now, the great thing about the technique that we're showing you in this episode is that you don't actually have to be that precise when you're painting over your fingernails. Because we're using a layer mask, you can always go in and change where your la layer mask is and isn't visible. All right, and because we're gonna be pulling the highlights from the fingernails afterwards, those are gonna cover up a lot of these little areas, making it so you don't have to be incredibly precise in this stage. All right, so I'm just painting. Now, if you do wanna get a little bit more precise, you can use selection tools like the pen tool to create a better outline. In this case, I'm just gonna use the brush tool and then go back and clean up with a layer mask anything that I need to afterwards. All right, there we go, so painting that nail. And I chose an image which is like nice and close up. So you can see if it works on this image where the nails are such a focus, it's going to definitely work on your image where the nails are quite a bit smaller. There we go. And I'm just going right up here to the top. Now remember, we said we're gonna take the highlights of the nails and apply them over top of the color. So I'm not too concerned about painting over top of the white tip there because that's where the highlights are already. Okay, so we went ahead and painted this color on top of our nails. And as we can see, it doesn't look real at all. And that's because there's no highlight on top of the fingernails. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the highlights from the existing image and apply them over top of this color. All right, so to grab the highlights, the first thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and make this layer invisible so we can see just how it was before. Now, there are a lot of different ways to grab your highlights. You could use select color range, but the best way, in my opinion, is to use channels. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna click on our background layer first, and then we're gonna go over to where it says channels. You can also go to window, and then down to channels. Okay, now your channels are separated basically by color. So you have your red channel, your green channel, and your blue channel. Now your red channel shows with light information the amount of red that's in the photo. And this is skin, so there's a lot of red. Now the blue channel, there's a lot less blue in skin, right? So that's gonna be your best channel to start off with. Basically what you want is the biggest amount of contrast between the highlights in the fingernails and the skin. Okay, so we're gonna work with our blue channel now. now we need to take our highlights and separate them from the skin. So to do that, we're gonna duplicate our blue channel. Just simply grab your blue channel and drag it to the new channel icon right there. And you should see it says blue copy now. Okay, now what we're gonna do is use a levels adjustment layer. And my main goal here is to make the skin a little bit darker and the highlights a little bit lighter. And that's gonna make selecting those highlights a lot easier. 
So on the blue copy, we're gonna hit Control or Command L for levels. All right, that looks good. And we're gonna take our slider and just start by dragging this to the right, and we're gonna make our darks a little bit darker while we're at it. All right, there we go, that looks pretty good. So we're hit, gonna hit okay. And you can see, basically, here's our original blue layer, and here's our blue copy. It makes the skin a little bit darker. So now when I go to select the highlights, it's not gonna select where the skin was, it's just gonna select the highlights. Now channels are great because it gives you a very visual idea of what's gonna get selected. The lights get selected and the darks do not get selected. Okay, so to turn this blue copy channel into a selection, just hold Control or Command and click on the thumbnail right here. You can also click on this round, um, <laughs> this little circle here with a bunch of selection dots. There we go. And that's gonna turn our light areas into a selection. So we're here in channels right now. We've made our selection of the light areas. Now we're gonna go back to our layers, okay? And we're gonna go ahead and create a new layer above all this, and now I wanna fill this with white, right? We want those selections. We selected out the highlights, and now we need to fill those highlight selections with white. So on a new layer, I'm gonna hit Shift Delete, which brings up our fill dialog, and we're just gonna go right down here to white. All right, let's hit okay, and then Command D to deselect. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at what that looks like. All right guys, so we made a selection out of the highlights on the image. Then we created a new layer and filled that with white. So if I use my move tool here and I just move that around, you can see it's just the highlights from the original image. Now, it's the highlights from the entire image. I don't need these in highlights from the entire image. I only need them to be visible where this layer is visible. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put that back into place. Let's go ahead and make our color fill adjustment layer visible. There we go. And then here are our highlights. You can see how much better those nails look. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna right click on these highlights and we're going to go to create a clipping mask. And that's going to make the highlights only visible where this layer is visible. Making sure that the highlights are only visible where we actually painted in our fingernails. All right guys, so now the highlights look great. Now it's time for us to change our color and adjust our layer mask a little bit to make sure it looks perfect. So to change your color, super easy here. We used a color fill adjustment layer. So I'm just gonna double click right here where our color is, and then we can simply choose our color. So I'm able to change our color from something less saturated, more saturated. All right, there we go. We can go down into our reds. All right, looking good. Or we could even go into something like our blues. All right, for this episode, we're gonna use something like a nice bright orange. There we go. Ooh, that kind of looks nice, actually. Let's do a little bit less saturated. All right, and hit OK. Cool. Now, we can see the outline is just a little bit too uh, firm. We want it to be a little bit more blurred to mix with the photo. So we're going to click on our layer mask. I'm going to go to Filter. We're going to go to Blur and to Gaussian Blur. And just putting a little bit of a blur on there is going to make it fade in with the photo a little bit better. Now, if you're using a photo that doesn't have there we go, that looks pretty good. If you're using a photo that doesn't have an out of focus area, you don't wanna do that. You wanna use something like the pen tool to make sure your selection is accurate. All right, so you remember when I created my layer mask the first time with the brush tool, is a little bit sloppy. So we're gonna go in and fix that. So here on our layer mask, I'm just gonna paint white anywhere I want my layer to be visible and black where I want my layer to be invisible. That way, if I've gone over top of the skin in any areas, I'm just gonna paint black and it's gonna blend right in. All right, over top there. There we go. All right. So the great thing about layer masks here is you don't have to get your selection exactly right the first go round. You can always change it at any point in time. Just simply paint black where you don't want it to be visible and white where you do want it to be visible. All right, there we go. And that looks really, really good. So you can see I did a pretty quick job with this, but it still looks very, very good. And it's because we took the highlights from the original nails and applied them over top of the color in the final. Cool. All right, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the before and the after. Cool. Here are nails before and our after. You can see we took the highlight color from the nails to make it look completely realistic. 
All right, guys, and that's it for coloring fingernail polish in Photoshop. Just follow these key steps. First, you wanna create a solid color adjustment layer. Then use your layer mask to paint in just where you want your fingernails. Now we use a solid color adjustment layer because it's very easy to change your color at any time. Next, we're gonna grab our highlights from the original nails. So go ahead and turn that layer off. We're gonna go into channels and duplicate our blue channel. Then we're gonna use levels to make sure our skin is a little bit darker and the highlights are lighter. That gives us a better selection when we're selecting out just the highlights. Next, it's time to turn your channels into a selection. Just hold Control or Command and click on the channel thumbnail. Then we're gonna create a new layer and we're gonna use our fill dialog hitting Shift Delete to fill that layer with white. Now these highlights, we only want to be visible where we painted our color. So we're gonna right click on this layer and go to Create Clipping Mask. It's gonna make the highlights only visible where the solid color adjustment layer is. All right, and to finish it off, it's time to choose the right color. Just double click on that solid color adjustment layer and choose any color you want. Clean up your layer mask and you're done. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching Flurn. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you wanna learn more great Photoshop and photography tips, just click on that subscribe button on your screen now. We'll send you free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have any questions about today's episode, leave them in a comment right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. Nayer mask, layer mask. Nope. All right. We'll make it so we're la 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 la. <laughs> Peace. Dunzo. I need to get my nails did.